Okay, so next example, find the value of compound angle sine, compound angle cos, and compound angle tangent. Given that your angle A, sine angle A, cos angle B, A and B is in the first quadrant. Alright, so in your first quadrant means your triangle will be at here. First quadrant for angle A. For angle B also in first quadrant. So sine referring to the length of opposite over hypotenuse. So your adjacent will be equal to 4. For angle B, cos referring to your adjacent is 5. Then your hypotenuse is 13. So your opposite length will be 12. So get all this length so that you can express in their ratio. Then we can start from question A, where we want to find out what is our sine A plus B for this compound angle. Simplify using your formula, it will be equivalent to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So plug in your value, put in your value. So for here, they're giving you all in first quadrant. When you're having sine cos tangent, all value will be positive. You learned it before, right? All sine teacher, crazy. So all trigonometry here give you positive value. All right. So when you come to here, if you uh, if your question is changed to second quadrant and third quadrant and fourth quadrant and so on, the value will be different. So you have to be careful, it's positive and negative. So for sine A, sine A opposite over hypotenuse, it will be 3 over 5. Cos B, 5 over 13. Alright, positive value in first quadrant. Meanwhile, cos A, it will be 4 over 5. Sine B, opposite hypotenuse. 12 over 30. So simplify this ratio. It gives you 63 over 65. Then we go for cos compound angle A plus B. So use your formula. It will be cos A cos B, when you're having operation plus, it will be minus, In reverse your operation becomes sine A, sine B. Okay, so plug in your value, cos A, adjacent 4 over 5. For angle B, cos 5 over 13. Then back to angle A, you want sine opposite over Hypotenuse, 3 over 5. Then sine B, 12 over 30. All in positive value because of, because of first quadrant. So our value all in positive. Simplify this. Simplify this operation of this ratio. Negative 16 over 65. Is it correct? Is it correct? Yes, okay, then we continue. How about for tangent compound angle? It will become tangent A plus tangent B. For denominator operation, it will be reverse become minus tangent A times tangent B. Then we substitute in our ratio here. Tangent A refer to angle A, tangent opposite over adjacent which is 3 over 4. Then angle B, opposite over adjacent, which is 12 over 5. So simplify this ratio. 
So still, uh, every ratio here are positive because of first quadrant. So you might get second quadrant, you might get third quadrant. So the sine cos tangent value will be positive negative difference. All right. Okay, simplify this operation ratio. You get negative 63 over 16.